Hello everybody, Tradeuse here, and we're back with another episode on the Thrival server. Here we are in a little bedroom. We're on with Toxic Squirrel, I'm Mr. Osmo, Freelay21, and BR Coco. Um, and I wanted to start off here, even though we're going to be going back to the spawn village to work, uh, because BR Coco left us a gift, and you probably have already read the sign while I've been mumbling, but Chase, I had a thought for gifts, and here it is. On static water placeable, or static water block placeable once inside the nether. That's fine. Um, I'll explain more into this when we get over to the spawn village because this is my topic for the day. Uh, I'll just save that, I guess. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that I got a gift. I, I'm not sure if it was from my Miss Rosmo or BR Coco. Shout out to whoever it was. I've heard both so, that they gave it to me. I'll leave it in there for now. Uh, and we'll do a cut once we're back at the Builder's Hut. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Uh, we're back in the uh, Builder's Hut. Builder's Hut, that's the name. Uh, Builder's Hut. And conveniently, there's another portal to Faye Scope's house, who's right over that way. And we can just take that to get to here from now on. And... Uh, It'll take much less time. Um, I haven't decided how I want to do a roof for the Arboretum. I might do glass, actually. Glass. But I'm going to do um, the half slabs of the this kind um, while I talk to you guys about what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, recently, uh, as you can see, the gifts in the beginning of this episode. Drag. Um involved an incident that occurred on the server. Um, it happened Friday, which is, well, today's Monday, so it's about three days ago. If I failed at that math, I'm sorry. I do not care. Um, four. And basically what ended up happening is uh, I was not at my computer to monitor the server, and one of our old members logged in. Um, oh gosh, stupid thing. Um, hmm. The real deal was uh, is his name, and I got a text from one of the guys on the server who I am friends with in real life, and he said, "Hey, do you know this guy, the real deal?" Uh, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, he's a buddy of ours. He's on the server." Um, he's like, "Oh, because he's kind of being a dick." And I said, oh, that's kind of his way. He just kind of teases people, and um, he likes to mess around and have a good time that way. That's his definition of fun. And they they believe me because I'm a credible person generally. I'm not a liar, guys. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. Are you serious? It was literally raining two minutes ago, and I have to turn off to find weather off, which I don't like to do, but... I did not want it during the recording. Um, anyhow, getting back to uh, the story. So the real deal uh, w was apparently in character. Um, being a jerk was sometimes his his thing, but he was always just being funny, and he'd always tell you at the end. Um, and I, I told my friend, hey, you know, if it gets worse, I haven't seen this guy in a while, um, tell me, and I, I'll... I'll give him a lesson. Uh, I'll tell him what he's, do what the server's about, and he might not be as familiar because he hasn't logged in in over a month. And they said, "Oh, okay, that's no problem. Uh, I'll tell you if the condition gets worse." And I got a message back from that person, um, which I was busy talking for a couple, couple of minutes, so I did not get it right away. I like that look. I'm, I'm sorry. This is going to be kind of a me building and telling a story episode. Um, and so basically I got another text and I just didn't look at it right away. Uh, I figured, oh, I can check this in a minute. Everything will be fine. I need some iron over here. I need a shovel or two. Um, and eh, I'm going to go outside to get stone now. Um, and so when I came back, or when I came back from talking to people, uh, I saw... Um, that 
the message had said, the server is being griefed, uh, we need your help, people are on here, the real deal, and an old frenemy of mine, Taki Steak, uh, had infiltrated the server, um, and with the intention of destroying it. So, in order for this to make any sort of sense for you guys, I am going to have to do some explaining about who Taki Steak is, and, um, basically, I used to be on For Survival, as you guys know, the server before this one, and, sorry if this is going to be ridiculously boring, but I need sand for glass, um, we'll go back to building in a minute, I promise, keep watching, um, so Taki Steak and I, uh, were good friends at one point, some of you may have seen, uh, our... Let's Plays together, we did a couple, um, I didn't record at the time, but I had done, like, some Vex maps with him, and that ended up failing and falling out, and we became, uh, sort of just people who knew each other very well, but never talked, sort of deal. I'm not sure if any of you guys have experienced that. Um, and then, after that point, he ended up saying, hey, you know, that was kind of unfair of me to treat you like like that. You're a good guy. Um, I, I'd like to remain friends as long as we don't have to have our whole friendship be around recording, you know, and that definitely is understandable. I, I could see how it would put a, a hamper on a friendship, and I agreed. I said, yeah, I totally am. I feel the same way. Um, I, I was kind of pressuring you. I'm sorry. That was very jerky of me. Uh, let's just, let's just be friends. And so we were friends for a good time after that. We had uh, a lot of fun. And then the Feed the Beast server for Force Survival um, got started. That was a huge, huge, huge turning point. Um, it was when people started, you know, switching over and not playing any more vanilla. And, you know, the normal, the normal shindig happens when... Uh, when that happens, or when that goes around, um, people forget about their roots, and I was one of them. I didn't play very much at all, and there was just one character on uh, on uh, Thrival, or not Thrival, <laughs> Thrival, um, for Survival, um, which, by the way, I got the name from a Survivor episode, one of my favorite TV shows, hosted by Jeff Probst. That Survivor, not from For Survival. Um, despite the similarity between them, um, it I think is the best the best name for us. Uh, it fits us very well, and everybody seems to enjoy it. Um, but I don't know why I'm gathering dirt. Oh yeah, for a hop up block staircase, which I could just make a ladder for, but I'm I'm too lazy. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I did not want three of you to place. I'm sorry, the spawn for this this world is rather laggy. Uh, nobody can explain why. Um, it's just a spawn. The rest of the server is completely lag-free. Oh, great. A horrible, horrible tree. Oh, jeez. Two of them grew at once. I have never seen this. Guys, that is boss. I'm going to screenshot that. Um, anyway. Glass. Um character I didn't like. Leprechaun Stew was his name. If you ever see him, please kill him. He's a dick. Um, but basically, he... He was just this kind of douchey guy who just wanted to be friends with who he wanted to be friends with, and I was not one of those people. Um, which, I don't know how it's possible. I'm a like likable guy, huh? I, I don't, but, yeah. Oh, gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, to be honest. Um, stupid block lag at spawn is just crazy. If anyone knows a solution, I will be much, much in debt to you. Um, back to the story. He did not like me, but he really liked Brayden. And Brayden, uh, or Taki Steak, is a very, um, a, a very phase oriented person. He loves people and games and videos and things for a short time in huge phases. He just 
would all of a sudden, oh, I don't like Minecraft anymore, and not play Minecraft, and then Feed the Beast came out, and he's like, oh my god, Feed the Beast is the best thing ever, and that's all he wanted to play, and then all of a sudden he'd hate it, and he'd go to Daisy or something else. Um, and he was like that with people too. I had my phase, I had my jump in there, and I'm not talking about phase scopes, I'm talking about the pH. Um, anyhow, he just dumped me, joined, uh, joined forces with Stu, did everything with Stu, uh, he didn't record anymore, is why if you visit his YouTube channel, you will never see, uh, another video, um, and, anyway, I did not like Leprechaun Stu, and he did not like me, and so, long story short, he had a, he had a hissy fit at one point, and quit the server, which I was overjoyed to hear. I hated the guy. Um, and I thought that he, he had literally said several times, I hate this community. I had no idea why he would be invited onto a community server when he literally has said, I hate the community. And, oh my god. And basically, he was readmitted within two days. Uh, and back then, we had a... I'm just gonna wait, sit and talk, and cut down these trees while I, while I talk to you guys. Ugh, stupid block lag. Um, anyway, so he was readmitted, and we had a rule that people had to be um, re-voted into the community by everybody. Everybody had to agree. Yes, this is someone we think should be, who should have a place back on. Um, and at this point, nobody really liked the guy, to be honest. Everyone was of the the agreements that, or they were in agreement with uh, with him leaving and never coming back. Nobody really wanted him back except the server owner, Taki Steak. And therefore, he was readmitted um, without question. No, no problems, just all of a sudden he was back, and I had told Taki Steak, if this guy comes back, it is bad enough that I will quit. And he basically chose for this guy, who was a jerk and had literally said he hated the community, to come back over me. And so that kind of led me to go a little bit ragey, and I got really mad at both of them. Uh, I got mad at Taki Steak because he did not choose me. And I got mad at Leprechaun Stu for just being a total dick. Like, just the worst. I, I'm i a very passive person, but I swear, um, and I, if I s ever met him in real life, I would have a hard time not trying to kill him. Um, he was just an absolute total jerk. And he was admitted and readmitted over to the server. Um, and I basically left, and I, unfortunately, that led to me getting in a fight with the server owner. Um, I did not intend for it to go down that way, but I got a little bit ragey, as you guys saw in the Ultra Hardcore, I had to edit that out. It was, um, so, so out of character, I guess. Um, and for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Nivlak is not a new person. I'm Mr. Osmo, and Toxic Squirrel share him as a joint account. Um, anyhow, I quit. Long story short, I quit, and I created Thrival a couple couple weeks after, I think, and didn't just never look back. Uh, I thought we were over with everything, and I thought that Taki Steak and I were just in agreement that we would never talk again. Uh, talky steak, never talk again. Basically, that was what I had come to believe. And that is a total, total misjudgment of character and uh, overall just stupidity on my part. I did not whitelist this server when we first uh, made it. Are oh, you freaking skeleton? Where? Where is he? I would like to chop down this tree. Good. You are 
dead. Oh, he dropped a bow. How nice of you. I did not want it. Um, so, I thought we were all good. Everything was separate. And ended up relating back to the real deal. Uh, the real deal was someone I had considered my friend from Force Survival, and he had originally stated at the beginning um, that he was on my side and that he had quit the server too because he did not like what happened to um, Phase Scopes. Phase Scopes was banned, um, and he felt like that was, that was not um, in agreement with server rules, so he quit as well. Um, he was obviously later readmitted because he came back on here, started being a jerk, and the griefing went down. Um, basically, talky steak and um, the real deal. And oh my god, another double tree. Double tree day. So, anyway, they got back on with a third griefer. Uh, someone I had considered one of my best friends on for survival. And... Oh, God. There's a lot of zombies. They must know I'm a villager. Oh, God! Ah. Neat. That was dangerous. Oh, God. I'm getting a lag spike. Door constantly breaking. Oh, okay, guys. Um, oh, I thought I was going to say I had to reconnect. Um, apparently, I'm okay. We're out. I already did. You guys can read it on your own. Um, so, basically, that was where we were. Uh, talk, uh, talky steak. Uh, and the real deal. And one of my other friends who I... Uh, he was the first person I met on the server, Dead Eye Dan. Um, he was a fantastic guy. And the last conversation I had to him, with him before he said, um, uh, before he came on and started griefing, um, was, hey man, if you ever need anything with your community, I'm really happy to support you. Just let me know and I'll be there for you. I, we're, I, thought, I think we're still good buddies. And, uh, that ended up being a total lie because he came on here and tried to destroy everything that everyone, including some of his own friends like Frosty and VR Coco and Faze Scopes, had done. Um, just an absolute dick move. I'm going to just leave it at this layer of glass, I think, but for that I need more of the, um, the old glass. Um... Oh, I got the shift clicking glitch. Fix that by tapping right shift a few times. Um. Oh my god, these zombies! I need to light this area up off camera. Shut. Anyway, uh, Dead Eye Dan came on in Grief 2. Basically, long story short, a few people's houses were totally wrecked before I could shut the server down and finish. Um, Oh, you bastard. Break my sword. He did. Good boy. He listened. I have no idea what I'm going to do for a sword now. Oh, well. Um, anyhow, they had griefed. Uh, I had to shut the server down. I talked to my hosting company, uh, who is absolutely just fantastic, guys. They... They sorted the problem out with me really quickly. They even had someone come on and assess the damage and see if everything was okay and if they could do anything else to help me. Um, and I think they're IBSN. I'm not sure. I, I, I'll If I remember, I'll put an annotation or something. Um, anyway, uh, basically they helped me fix it and I opt Nivlac. Uh, who is I'm Mr. Osimo and Toxic Squirrel's joint account. Uh, so that way, if I were ever busy, um, they could, you know, prevent prevent future damage. Uh, so there are, are two people, and they have a pretty high chance, because they're the most active two members by a lot, um, to shut, shut the server down, kick griefers, ban them, um, 
if that were to ever occur again, um, which I highly doubt because I blacklisted, whitelisted, everything, every color of the rainbow listed this server. Um, I did not, foolishly, I did not do that from the start. Reasoning being, uh, I did not ever think it would be necessary. Like, really, I, I thought that we had split ways. Uh, nobody was ever going to really show the IP on video or anything because we all have our, our IPs hidden. I think this is going to look cool. I'm just going to start cooking it so we can finish something this episode. It's been very unproductive. Um, and basically, they came on, griefed. I banned them all, blocked them all on Skype. Uh, I already had Talkie Steak blocked. He, he was no longer on my friends list. But the rest of the guys blocked and told everybody what happened, replaced anyone's stuff that had been damaged, and moved along from there. Uh, so that's why everybody got a little gift. Um, it was to, to you know, reinvigorate everybody after that, you know, dark dark night when uh, when uh, everybody got griefed. Um, some people, like phase scopes, real, real heartbreaking. They had freaking skeleton um his whole house has basically been destroyed because it was just so close to spawn um sorry about this this flag all of a sudden i i don't know why spawn is like this it may prevent my future videos uh from going on uh in spawn i'm sorry about that i i'm just trying the best that I can anyhow that's where everybody's gift came from I'm Mr. Osmo decided that an unobtainable item would be cool I know this is a vanilla server but really to be honest after all that I think everybody deserves something really really fun and neat and so that's what everybody got pretty much uh, most well mostly just the people who are griefed um, I got one. I have no idea why. Uh, I might just give it to someone I think deserves it in the future. Uh, I have no need for it, to be honest. Um, I, I appreciate the gesture more than anything, really. Um, I was feeling really down uh, about myself after the whole griefing and the whole split uh, with two people I considered my real good friends. Um, and basically, Dead Eye Dan came back afterward and said that he regretted everything. Um, he didn't say this to me personally, but he said it to FaZe Scopes, who had been hit arguably the hardest by the griefing. All his chests were destroyed. and I like this open-air feel, by the way. Um, and basically, that's, that's all I have to talk about today. I wanted to just address that, uh, explain why some of your favorite favorite thrivalists, basically me and Cybez, um, are the only ones who record, uh, may have some stranger items, like water block, you should say, hey, why, why, but that was because of the griefing, it was just a present for everyone, it's not something I'm going to hand out willy-nilly to everybody, uh, just like, oh, hey, you want a water block, all right, well, here you go, um, we're cautious here, and we try and play as vanilla as possible. No teleporting, no game modes until um, we see necessary with like a glitch or something, as anyone would really do. Um, and I I want to thank you guys for your support. Now more than ever, it it really means a lot. It uh, move. You should move to the other one real quick. Oh well. Um. Anyways. I'm going to end the episode off here, but thank you guys again for your continued support. It means a lot to me. You can walk through the middle of that. Um, and I just I just feel like feel like crap after that whole incident. Uh, I felt like a bad administrator that people had to suffer. Ironically, my house wasn't even touched by the whole griefing. Uh, and they are the one... I was the one they were targeting. Um, but anyway... Ending the episode here now. I've babbled on for long enough, and I probably wasted your guys' time. We got nothing fucking accomplished. But anyways, thank you guys once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.